My concern right now is losing my business. Money becomes a touchy subject between the two of us. What do we do with them now? God help your girl. You don't have the good sense. God gave a goose. This debt has just got us by the throat. I just, I don't want to lose everything. I'm a fashion designer. I design a line of handbags. I work for a big box store, and I earn about $40,000 a year. I don't really know how much I make a year. I don't. We're walking a very thin line right now. It's like debt, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Ah. A lot of the money is just spent on both of us. It's a perfect way to pay on a credit card. My middle name should be minimum payment, and when there is some money that comes along, it's like, okay, put a small portion and let's, you know, purchase something that we'd like. Literally today, we don't have any cash. So the store will hopefully make some cash sales today <laughs> so that we'll have something for tomorrow. We have a 15-month-old son. I just look at Sydney some days and apologize to him. Some days it feels like our marriage could be at stake. You know, how can two people keep going on when they're so stressed and then everything else just gets magnified? If we could get some help so that we could just take all this money bleep away and uh, I'll feel much better. <laughs> this month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks. And it's the number one reason couples split up. So now I'm making house calls. Russell and Nicole's $45,000 debt is a tangled mess of business and personal spending. They use their credit cards for everything and the interest just keeps adding to their debt. The pressure is mounting and now it's threatening their young family. So I'm here to shake some sense into them. Nice to meet you, Hi, Russell. Nicole. Hi, nice Nicole. to meet you. And this is Sydney. Hi, Sydney. <laughs> Having a quick look around someone's home gives me a good sense of how they're spending their money. Nicole and Russell rent a small but very funky apartment in a hip downtown neighborhood. Is all the stuff in the living room paid for? No. The bedroom set paid for? Yes. Completely paid for? Maybe it's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We've got clothes that still have the tags on. Yeah. Why is that? Just in case we fall short of cash and we need something else, I'll return them and get the money back. So why don't you start by telling me why I'm here? I feel like I'm having to look after everything, and it's getting extremely stressful, and it's putting a, a big weight on our marriage. When I looked at your tapes, when I went through all the financial numbers, yeah. I saw that. And what I see when I look at the two of you is a strong, smart, capable woman running a creative business, in control, but not. Mm -hmm. And Russell, you seem frustrated to me. Do you have the only key to the mailbox? <laughs> <laughs> You're a little yeah. bit of a control freak. She may seem to keep me at arm's length, but I really don't push too much to change that. And I wonder why. I want him to be in charge of things, and I want him to take initiative, but I'm so strong and independent that I don't want him to do that. So I'm battling with myself. And the debt just keeps growing on you. You're paying horrendous interest rates. Like, the interest is killing you. Yeah. When it comes to running your business, God help your girl, you don't have the good sense God gave a goose, okay? <laughs> For some unknown reason, you think sole proprietor means I can take the money out of the till. Yeah. Nah. -uh. Yeah. <laughs> Nicole runs some major household expenses through her business, like their car, cell phones, and a portion of their rent and utilities for running a home office. That means they only have to come up with about $3,500 a month to take care of things like rent, food, and entertainment. This is where the money's going yeah. to a large extent. Miscellaneous consumption is stuff. $1,500. Take off what you're spending on clothes. Mm -hmm. Take off what you're spending in cash. Mm -hmm. Another $1,500. Mm -hmm. 
That's money we can't track. We have no yeah. idea where it's going. This can also be supplies for the store. It doesn't matter to me where right. you're spending it. Right. If you don't have income to support it, then we can't it's irrelevant. It. Right. That's right. Okay. You can't spend okay. money you don't have. For example, when I say you're spending $500 on clothes, mm -hmm. that's like totally that crazy. ridiculous yeah. right. on an income of $3,500 a right. month. I am totally obsessed about clothing. But after having a baby, I need a new wardrobe because I'm in fashion design. <laughs> Just between your miscellaneous consumption, your clothes and your cash, we are at negative $14, right. and we haven't got to rent, right. food, childcare, or transportation yet. Right. Yeah. Okay, hold on to your horses. Are you ready? <laughs> you have almost $45,000 in debt, mm -hmm. two loans, and eight credit cards on which you are averaging interest at 21%. Mm -hmm. This is the ruin mm -hmm. of your family, Yeah. okay? You don't take care of this problem, mm -hmm. and you will not we survive. We won't have anything. You're overspending by $6,000 mm -hmm. a month. If you stay on track over the next five years and you keep this interest rate at 21%, in five years, you'll owe three quarters of a million dollars. And that's not with a roof over your head. There's no mortgage in there. No, no. It's just consumer debt. Russell and Nicole are jeopardizing both their personal lives and Nicole's business because they're just not keeping track of spending at either end. I just, I don't want to lose everything. I walk in my neighborhood and I see my product on people every day. It feels so good. What we're going to do is we're going to get your expenses under control. We're going to get this debt paid off. Mm -hmm. We're going to get the business personal stuff organized. And you're going to be communicating all the way through it. Yeah. Okay? I have your promise? Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. But there are some rules, and you're going to have to do some challenges that I set for you. Yeah. Do them successfully, and I'll give you up to $5,000 to pay down your debt. Wow. No success, no money. Coming up, Nicole and Russell start digging their way out. That's a fixed rate. There's nothing I can do about that whatsoever. It'll be higher than it seems. Nicole and Russell are credit card junkies, using them to finance everything from their hip downtown lifestyle to Nicole's business. We have so much debt that I just can't cope. They've consolidated their debt before, but didn't learn their lesson. And then it was, hey, these cards are still active, so we've used them again. Nicole has been managing all of the finances, personal and business, alone. Russell is desperate to help, but Nicole just won't let go. And that's uh, the big problem when it comes to money, just the communication. So to get back in the black, they're going to have to play by my rules. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I'll reward them with thousands of dollars. No changes, no money. You are overspending so much mm -hmm. that I am forced to cut your variable spending by 82%. Mm -hmm. Okay. Instead of having about $3,800 a month, which is what you have been spending, mm -hmm. $3,800 a month, you're going to have about $700 a month. Russell and Nicole didn't have $3,800 to begin with. Whenever Nicole needed money, she just took it from the store. This budget reflects how much they actually do have to spend, and it's going to mean some major lifestyle changes. Now, your variable expenses are things like your groceries, gifts, clothing, anything you have some control over. Right. Yeah. So, you know what? You have $125 yeah. for food. You have $25 for transportation. You have $10 for clothing and gifts. You have zippity doo da for entertainment. Yes. <laughs> And you have $8.75 for everything else. <laughs> <laughs> An ice cream each? <laughs> no. When you live on cash, because you have been living on huge yeah. quantities of cash, one of the golden rules is you have to write it down. Right. So you get the budget binder. And the budget binder says how much you have for each category. Okay. okay. The big fat zero there beside yes. entertainment. Okay, yeah. good. This is what it takes, and that's what we're going to do. It's going to be tight. It's going to be tough. I do feel pretty numb right now. Because my main confusion is um, relating the business to personal and how to separate that. Right. I'm so glad you said that. Yeah. Hold the thought. Okay. We're going to deal with that in the challenge. Yeah. Nicole, mm -hmm. you have to take a paycheck from your company mm -hmm. 
-hmm. every week. Mm -hmm. And I have a specific amount that I will give you. Okay. And that will be your net income from the company from here on in weekly. Okay. You put your hand back in the till and I will cut it off and feed it to you. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> your interest costs are atrocious and we have got to get a handle on them. Okay, 21% mm -hmm. on average is ludicrous. Yeah. You will kill yourself in interest. Yeah. So this week you have to get a consolidation loan mm -hmm. or call the different credit companies and get them to lower your interest. Right. Russell and Nicole have been here before. One of their outstanding loans is for a consolidation of all their credit card debt just last year. And what Russell had to do to get that loan, it's still a major source of embarrassment for him. My father had to co-sign on that loan. Yeah. So 41 years old, I'm getting my father to co-sign a loan. Yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of that one. It's almost like a, a weight has been lifted off me um, going through this process, because I feel like someone's given me a push start. I've had a business for nine years. The first application, there was a major mistake made. It was put that I had been in business for a year. Uh-huh, and can you tell me the reason why? Okay. <laughs> it wasn't good news because they were reading it wrong. So the person that I spoke to didn't know what he was talking about and said that I was approved for the consolidation. In fact, I wasn't because I haven't been in business long enough. But they approved me for another credit card, which I didn't ask for. <laughs> Any chance at all that that can be lowered? That's a fixed rate, there's nothing I can do about that whatsoever? Is this because it's like a big box card or? Okay, thank you. It's gonna be higher than it seems. Coming up, a reality check about credit cards. So they're lying to you. It's been a whirlwind over the past four years. Got married two years ago. I have my own business. I have a baby. A lot of pressures, a lot of stress. For Nicole and Russell, the center of the storm is their out of control debt. You're overspending by $6,000 a month. It didn't help that when they ran short of cash, Nicole would simply take it from her business. Put your hand back in the till and I will cut it off and feed it to you. <laughs> Their first challenge was to reduce the crippling interest rate on their debt. This is the ruin mm -hmm. of your family. If they can accomplish all of my challenges, I'll give them up to $5,000 to help them pay down their debt. Did you get everything I need you to get done? Done? Um, I think we so. We worked, We've on, everything. <laughs> worked <Yeah>. on everything. <laughs> Tell so me how it, the week Whether went. or not it's finished is a you know, another story. Well, everything is a work in progress. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I did ask, is this the lowest interest rate right. that you offer for me? Yes. And everybody said it was. Okay, so they're lying to you. They are? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Unfortunately, what happens is uh, they say no, mm -hmm. and you say, may I speak to your supervisor, please? Right. And then the supervisor yeah. says no, and you say, okay, clearly I'm not speaking to the right person yet because right. I'm not getting to yes. Yeah. It's, it's typical sales strategy. You just have to keep asking until you get to the person who okay. can say yes. So the rest of what I discovered at the bank, because I went to consolidate um, three cards, yes. if they consolidate the three cards yes. and get me a line of credit, then they will offer me a business credit card. And that's what will divide mm -hmm. the personal from the business. Absolutely. Yeah. Getting a business credit card for Nicole is a perfect solution. And if they refuse to take no for an answer, they can reduce their credit card interest rate substantially. And the other thing is, is that we, we sort of have to talk about that whole idea of the life-work balance. Mm -hmm. As much as you can integrate Sydney mm -hmm. into your work life, because you know, if you think he's taking time now, mm, so you better get this integrated. Yeah. yeah. When you're a mother and running a small business, it's hard to prioritize. Having a play area for Sydney at the store will let Nicole spend more time there working, creating more product, and in the long run, making more money. So this week's challenge is a future plan challenge. Yeah. And it's baby on board. <laughs> yeah. You're going to clean this up. Yes. You're going to make it perfect for Sydney. Sounds great. Yeah. So that you can balance your personal life with your business life. Sounds yeah. great. Make it perfect. Yeah. All right. She knows what she's talking about, and she can read us really well. This is something that should have taken place months ago.
I don't think it's fair that she has all the responsibilities. I just have to get in there and start taking some responsibility on my own and taking away some of this from her. Sydney, do you see the great room I got you? Oh, <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Look at all the space. Yeah. yeah. Where'd you put it all? We have actually underneath here some storage space. Right. A lot of it was garbage. Yeah. We've been wanting to do this for a year, so this has definitely given us the kickstart what to get you? it done. Uh, thinking that we didn't have time to do it. Okay, how did you find the time? We just did it. Can I tell you that this is how the rest of your life is going to be? Yeah. Either you are not going to ever do it, yeah. or you're going to just make the time. Yeah. Another thing this couple has to make time for is communication. That can be hard, given Nicole's control issues. Russell, <laughs> does Nicole have a little bit of a control issue? I would think so, yes. Okay. Do you have the only key to the mailbox? What would you say your major flaw is? Is not standing up to okay. her. Mm -hmm. Which brings us to this week's challenge. Mm -hmm. It's a relationship rescue challenge. Mm -hmm. I'm sending you to a professional theater mm -hmm. where you will be working with a couple of <laughs> actors. <laughs> you will be role reversing. Mm -hmm. Nicole, you are going to become Russell. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> and Russell, you are going to become Nicole. Yeah. All right. Coming up, Russell and Nicole mixed it up. Uh, what did you want to say to me? out of control. Yeah. Nicole and Russell's credit card debt is threatening their family's future. My middle name should be minimum payment. In five years, you'll owe three quarters of a million dollars. I've challenged them to give up their dependency on credit cards. Six, seven, eight very good children. Cut out the self-indulgent spending and stop mixing personal finances with business. Then they will offer me a business credit card. And that's what will divide mm -hmm. the personal from the business. Absolutely. Yeah. If they can accomplish all the challenges I've given them to fix this mess, I'll give them up to $5,000 to help them pay down their debt. Their final challenge was to see themselves from their partner's point of view. Will this show Nicole the reality of her controlling ways? Whenever you hear one of those things, we want you to say, should have said. OK, honey, um, eight bills. We're paying nothing but interest, and the minimum payments aren't going to get us out of debt. I, I know, I know. Should have said. I know it, it, this is a lot for you in addition to working and, and helping with Sydney, and, and yeah. but we've got to find a better way to manage it. Yeah. OK, you guys do this now. But you're playing Russell, right? OK. Um, here's the bills mm -hmm. I got from the mailbox. OK. Just downstairs that you don't have a key to. Uh. <laughs> You don't want to know about these bills. Well, what did you want to say to me? What do There's you mean like, we don't have any money to pay There's no her? cash in the house. I you were supposed to go to the bank. Anywhere. Should have said. In my mind, it's a reminder that we have to be positive and to respect each other. I really have to be aware of how I'm speaking to him and that even if I say the wrong thing, that I can stop for a second and go, OK, let's just review what we just said, you know, and do one of those should haves. <laughs> yeah. We're kind of slow on the should have said. So. <laughs> So you had an opportunity to learn something about each other this week. How did it go? I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. There was no harm in it whatsoever. Right. Um, and just to be open and yes. talk and, you know, take a look at yourself and laugh. Well, I am so glad that it worked out so yeah. well for you. Thank you. Yeah. And you're still working on that interest yeah. for that yes. one, right? Yeah. That's yes. That's good. You keep pushing that. Yeah. OK, because it's not always easy. When I got here, you were going three quarters of a million dollars into debt. Mm -hmm. We set aside $1,300 in your budget for debt repayment. Mm -hmm. And if you do that in three years, mm -hmm. debt free. Yeah, nice. We set aside $100 for emergencies and $200 for savings. Yes. Stick the savings in a retirement plan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do it for 30 years. Mm -hmm. $300,000 saved. That's great. Okay, so that's got to be worth it. Absolutely. Yeah. We had a three-point plan. We were going to get your expenses, including your interest costs, under control. Mm -hmm. We were going to separate personal and business, and we were going to get you communicating with each other. Yes. Well, you know what? You guys have done a great job. 
Thank you. Thank you. Do you feel like you did a great job? Well, there's a lot more to do. Yes. It's the start. It is the start. But it you know is. what? You can only accomplish so much in a month. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad like you, you think can, so. You know? <laughs> but you have done what I asked you to do, and so I have for you. <laughs> Yay! Mm. Oh, boy. Thank you. Thank you. Now it looks like we'll have something <laughs> someday, which would be really nice. We've been talking a good game for quite a long time, but now <laughs> to actually do it, follow through on it, and do some of these things we're talking about really feels good. Yeah. You guys are starting the beginning of the rest of your life. You should do it with a celebration. And so I'm sending you to a lovely restaurant so you can have a beautiful evening out. Yes, thank you. And it includes a spa package for two. Oh, Are you uh, kidding me? No! <laughs> <laughs> the momentum's there, the ball's rolling. Mm -hmm. So we're so. not gonna let this go. We're, we're sticking with it. Mm. Thanks for doing this with me. Thank you so much.